I'm Arthur Brian Hardinger. I'm Michael Jensen, editor of AfterAlton.com. And we're Two Gay Guys. The subject of this week's episode, late night comedians. When it comes to gay humor, they need a makeover. You know what? I think you and I could use a makeover too. Let's do it. Here at AfterAlton.com, we've written a lot about TV shows like Saturday Night Live and late night talk show hosts like Jimmy Kimmel, Jay Leno, and David Letterman. And you know what? They tell a lot of gay jokes. What is it about us gay folks that straight people find so incredibly funny? I mean, sure, there's a lot about gay people that's pretty funny, just like any community. But when Jay Leno tells Ryan Philippe to give him his gayest look, is that really what's going on? This country spent pretty much a whole year giggling over the movie Brokeback Mountain. What was that about? Honestly, is a movie about two gay cowboys really that funny? The truth is, comedy is as much about social norms as it is about making people laugh. It's about telling people what it's okay to laugh at, which means it's also about telling people what not to do. It's kind of ironic when you think about it. All these edgy, supposedly subversive comedians doing the dirty work of Pat Robertson and the American Family Association. Oh God, here come the comedy killjoys. It's just a joke, people say. You can't choose what makes you laugh. But it seems to us that we gay folks have been pretty damn tolerant. I've been hearing these same jokes my whole life. Isn't it finally okay to ask, are all these gay jokes making the world a better place or a worse one? After all, the minstrel shows made people laugh too, but I don't particularly want to watch those on late night television. Which isn't to say that comedians can't ever use stereotypes, but if you're going to use them, at least take the time to get them right. I'm over 40 years old, and I've never in my life seen a gay guy wear an ascot. And the only time I see gay people wearing short shorts is on Saturday Night Live. That's a little like having a black person show up eating watermelon and fried chicken. I guess that's the point of all this. Most of these gay jokes are tired. They might be cheap, easy laughs for a certain kind of audience. But how exactly do these comedians want to be known? Because the choice here is basically try something new or continue being Larry the Cable Guy. Hmm. So here we are, makeover complete. Ready to see the results? Ready! Um, we look exactly the same. Not exactly. My skin is luxuriously soft and you have less nose hair. Well, let's hope late night comedy does a better makeover job than this. I agree. I'm Brent Hardinger. I'm Michael Jensen. And we're Two Gay Guys. <laughs>